Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. We just got back from the library. Everything went so well with the science projects that we did last time. We wanted to go ahead and get a few more science project books to see if we could find other activities to do with Trinity when she comes to visit. We also got her Airy Fairy book. Now, she actually loves Airy Fairy, and that is really right now the only chapter book we can get her to sit still for. So we went and uh, picked up a second one from the library, along with some handouts that uh, can help us hook her up to books when um, she's online. And we're gonna give those to her next time she comes over. But um, we're gonna go ahead and show you some of the things we found already in the science books that you may be interested in doing yourself. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you this. Now, it is part of the um, Junior Ranger program that we've talked about before, sort of. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't, but uh, Georgia State Parks and Historic Sites work with the local libraries to provide resources to families. Again, these resources are free. There are park passes that you can check out to take the kids to any number of the state parks and historic sites. It allows everybody to um, park and get into the facility for free. And also, it you know, makes them eligible for the Junior Ranger program where they can earn badges. One of the badges Trinity has has this little dude on there. Um, I don't know if it's a chipmunk or what the heck it is. But anyway, the little dude is on her badge and we'll show you a peek at that in just a minute. But you can get, in addition to the park pass, you can get uh, free fishing information. You can get a backpack with birding binoculars and all kinds of stuff at the library to check out for free and uh, take to your local parks. At least that's the case if you live in Georgia. And I believe there are a lot of other state parks that do uh, the free library a pass type thing as well. You will also find that Georgia State Parks have first time camping programs that let you get or rent uh, free to low cost camping equipment and, and all kinds of stuff to make it really easy to get outside with the kids and enjoy what our state has to offer. So just wanted to toss that in there. I brought home the stickers for her from today's visit. We're gonna put one on the uh, car and then let her stick the other one on whatever she wants to. Well, within reason, of course. We don't want them on the walls, but you know what I mean. I went ahead and pulled this out just to show you. This is what the uh, Junior Ranger badge looks like, the one that she earned through the park service, thanks to the library. And then there's the uh, sticker that I got today, as you can see. It's the same little dude. So we picked out three books today, as far as the science projects go. There's this one, Cool Science Tricks and Tips by Daniel Tataraski, I guess is how you say it. And this one, Championship Science Fair Projects, uh, Sudipa Bardum Quailin. I know I'm butchering these names, I apologize. And evidently he did this one as well, or she, uh, Last Minute Science Fair Projects. When your Bunsen's not burning, but the clock's really ticking. So I guess that was an attempt at humor. And we'll go through each of them and see what we can find. Now, I did look at a lot of these while I was at the library just to, you know, skim through it and see if I saw anything interesting. And there were a few projects like the egg in a bottle that looks like it might be fun for her. So I think we're probably going to try that one. And that's in the uh, cool science tricks. And now we'll take a look at this one. Science fair projects. Championships. And you can see they have quite a few things about bacteria, acid rain, uh, about bleach and sheep, spinach DNA. That looked a little weird. The one that I was initially interested in on this one was uh, the earthworm garden. That might be something we'll try with her. And you can see there's a few other interesting ones with eggs. I like doing ones with her that uh, allow her to eat the finished product, like the ice cream one. And last but not least, the last minute ones. And we'll just take a look through this really quick. You can see these are a little more in depth than the others. They might be a little too difficult for her, possibly. 
but I'm thinking the 24 hours and counting projects, a couple of them might Now, work. in this book, we were thinking of possibly doing the Vampire Suds. That one kind of caught my eye, and I figured it goes in with Halloween, and we can do some vampire books with it, perhaps. Some vampire crafts, maybe. I don't know how she'll actually feel about vampires, so we'll have to see. And um, this one might be interesting, too, with the flowers. Let's see, a lot of different ones. Let me get to the one I was talking about. Yeah, that one, the vampire suds. You're basically doing uh, acids and bases and showing the differences between the two and it makes like different color effects. So we'll see how that turns out. We'll keep you posted as always.